is in control. He is in full control. Master Jesus is in control. He is in control, yes. He is in full control. Master Jesus is in control. You are in control. You are in full control. Master Jesus is in control. In our Thanksgiving series, we've come to say to you that, like the psalmist said in Psalm 50, 14a, Psalm 50, 14a, that we are to offer unto God thanksgiving. Psalm 95, 2, that we are to come before his presence with thanksgiving. Psalm 104b says, Be thankful unto him. While Colossians 3, 15 is also of the same opinion, advice, instruction that we should be ye thankful. We should be thankful. Someone out there, however, may say, Why should I thank God? Someone out there may say, Are you not? Are you dreaming? Are you in another world? Do you not see the realities on ground? Don't you hear the news? Did you not hear? Have you not heard? Did you not see? Are you not aware of the panic, the fear? I had a visitor yesterday evening. And apparently when she left the home, she, she told the husband, yes, I'm going out, but she didn't tell him how far she was coming. And uh, the man rang. Where are you? Where are you, sir? I stepped out. Um, she mentioned where she was. And you could hear the man vibrating on the phone. In this time of insecurity, why should you step out? Why should you do huh? My girl said to me that even for three days, she did not leave her home in the week because the husband said, you can't move. Insecurity is too much. So we are aware of these trials, aware that there are afflictions, I fear that there are persecutions, whether there are insecurities, temptations, troubles, all these situations that we can't even begin to explain. As our faces are different, that is how our challenges, our problems, the issues that confront us all are very, very different. But we've come to say here that the realities of adversities is very true. It cannot be denied. When we say be thankful, be grateful, we are not overruling the fact that there are challenges, adversities that may have come as a result of a troubled marriage, a problem home, problematic child, lack of job, children that have finished school but are still at home five, six, ten years, no job, not mindful of delayed childbearing, so many problems, backsliding spouses, children, businesses that have failed, that have gone sore, sicknesses, the list is endless. <laughs> Something is a problem. Plenty issues are problems. But having said that, we've come to say here that no matter what you are going through, no matter the challenge you are going through, the Bible says in 1 Thessalonians 5, 18, that in everything, we should give thanks, for this is the will of God. Of course, like Job, we are also admonished to fight back, not to just accept everything as the will of God. Job, when his trials came, he said, ah, God has given, God has taken. The Christian faith does not encourage such attitude. While we say thank you, Jesus, for that which has happened, while we give him the praise for allowing it, at the same time, we're encouraged to stand up, wake up and rebuke the devil. Wake up and say no. Wake up and say no, this can't be happening to me because it is contrary to God's word. We stand on the word of God and resist it and fight it and pray it out. Not just receive everything the devil chose as, as, as us as the will of God. So while First Thessalonians 5.18 says, In everything give thanks for this is the will of God. We are saying here that, don't let adversities, don't let challenges, 
Don't let issues stop you. I listened to a couple's program late night this morning, you know, before 12. And um, the couples were believing God for a child for 23 years, two, three. Wow, I couldn't believe it. And they said, yes, that there was a time they were even tempted to adopt. And the woman said there was time too that the father and mother were telling her, ah, hey, let's take you somewhere. If you don't go, your husband will leave you. Your husband will marry another woman. I will give him children. But she refused. She said, no, I'm sticking with my God. And the conclusion of the matter, someone near them adopted a child. While they were considering adoption, a message came to them that their case was special. It was different. They should wait. And when their, their testimony came, it came as triplets. After 23 years, they had three children at once, at one go. So we are here to say to you, like John 16.33 has said, that in this world there are trials, tribulations, but in Christ Jesus we have joy, we have peace. That is why we must not cease to give praise. We must not give thanks unto God. We must not give, cease to worship him. We must not cease to give him all the glory. And so this morning we say, come out with time. Come out with joy. Come out. Put that pain aside. Put that trial aside. Put that problem aside. Smile. Give God the glory. Give him the praise. Tell him, all the glory we bring to you, Lord. Only you is worthy of our praise. No man on earth shall give glory to himself. All the glory we bring. All the glory we bring, all the glory we bring to our God. <laughs> we bring all the glory to him, all the sacrifices to him. Leave aside your problems, your, your challenges. If they didn't swallow you up then, then it will come to pass. This too, that challenge too, whatever it is you are going through, will come to pass. Let's give him the praise. Let's give him the honor. Of course, you can't give what you don't have. Are you are there, you don't know Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Jesus came and may have life and have it more abundantly. All you need to do now is to say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you've said that, that's all. You Approach his throne of grace boldly. Approach his throne of grace boldly. Give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him adoration. Worship him. Magnify him. Are you there? You don't know him. You repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. With that simple prayer, welcome, 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 welcome to God's bountiful table, to God's harvest of peace and tranquility. God bless you. You need the Bible, daily devotional. And music, these three, worship is very, very essential to keep you on course, to keep you grateful and thankful. God bless you. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, General Vasya Abana of Love Ministries International. Do visit our YouTube account. YouTube, there you will see a lot of messages loaded, 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 loaded for you. Like them, share them. And... Your life and my life can never, never remain the same again. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you. God bless you. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus Christ. It is well with our hope today. With you and I. It is well. It is well. It is well in the name of Jesus. It is well with us all today. Adversities are real, but that Jesus is the burden bearer. Jesus can wipe away that tears. Jesus can make all things right. Jesus can make things beautiful for you. It's the best news. Give God the praise for that in Jesus' name. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures. 
when you pray and I pray, nation building, share, like. Not only mine, be an ambassador for Christ. Share and like others in Jesus' name. God bless you. These containers of evil and of mercy never leave us all in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Download the Bible app on your phone. Share the messages. Share the word. Share the messages. Share the word. Share the messages. Share the word. A Bible verse. You'll be amazed what that verse will do to someone. Be an evangelist for Christ. Be an encourager. Be a strengthener. God bless you. Thank you very much. God bless you. God bless our nation, Nigeria, and the nations of the world. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. <laughs>